Contract offers on the table. Contracts rejected. <laughs> Good afternoon, all you wonderful West Ham fans and all you wonderful West Ham Network subscribers. I hope you are safe and well as per usual. West Ham are coming to the end of the season and we've still got something to fight for. We do. And there's an outside chance we can do something. And the season, especially in the middle of the league, has been all over the place. Teams can beat everyone. Everyone can beat everyone. So listen, let's not give up yet. Let's not give up some hope that we can somehow get our fourth season on the trot of European football. What we do know is it's going to be an absolutely mental summer at West Ham. But before I get started, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring to you today's Football Prizes Prize, our sponsors of the channel. It's a huge competition today. It's the squad signed and custom LED framed West Ham United Conference League winner shirt with an inbuilt TV. And on top of that, you have 18 further chances to win instant prizes, all for the price of £3.95. It features a stunning prize that no one will want to miss, signed by the squad that won the Europa Conference League. The shirt comes displayed, like I said, with the LED inbuilt TV for just £3.95. And like I said, included in those prizes... Instant win prizes is an Emerson signed West Ham shirt, Kurt Zuma signed West Ham shirt, and a Jared Bowen signed West Ham shirt. The link for the competition will be in the description below, so make sure you do go across and get that prize up and running. But I'm here talking to you today about some of the news that's coming out of the club as a star has rejected a new contract. And that star that I'm talking to you today about is Aaron Creswell. Now, this is an interesting one because... Do you know what? Fair play to Aaron. I think he has been an absolutely fantastic servant to the club. He absolutely has. Um, and he is ready to head out the door at West Ham after being offered a new contract at West Ham. And he's been at the club, what, 10 years, I think, nearly, give or take a few months. Um, and it's inevitable that he will be going. And it possibly would be a bit of a bittersweet situation when he does leave because when he came, he became such a pivotal part and strong, you know, position in that left-back position. He was really at the races. He was fully fit. He was young um, and, and ready to, and ready to go. And he nearly moved to uh, last summer, but that deal was scuppered due to um, the Wolves not pulling through with the finances as well. But it does look like he will be heading out the door this summer as he has... Um, knocked back a potential new contract offer. Now, on the Aaron Creswell new contract offer, I, I, I find that quite baffling that why we would offer him a new contract. I think there's a, I, I, I think, yes, it's fine to protect a player that's given a lot to the club, um, but there comes a time and a place. And in actual fact, I think last year, last summer, was the time and a place where we could have moved Aaron Creswell on and brought someone else in to try and put, um, challenge for that position. But I feel like by keeping him on and potentially looking at offering him a year contract just puts West Ham further back. You know, you take those one step forward, two steps back, and that is that kind of situation. You know what? We should mutually agree to terminate and, and, and leave the situation and move on to, to, to ventures new and, and go and you know, finish off your career, make as much money as you possibly can and, and and leave on really, really good terms. And I don't doubt for a second he will um, leave on good terms. I think he's been a fantastic servant to the West Ham um, faithful, but it's time that he goes. It, you know, this brings up the conversation about the direction that West Ham are trying to go in. And if you're hearing that they're offering contracts to long-lasting players of nine and 10 years who are very bit part players who don't feature a lot, then it doesn't necessarily make sense. Although there is a fine balance between just getting rid of all of your experience because there'll be an element of that unless they see him in a coaching environment at the club, then so be it. I think that the Creswell leaving situation is good for West Ham in a positive mindset. Again, all depends on what happens in the summer. Who do we bring in as a coach? Who do we bring in as a um, a, 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 a replacement for Aaron Creswell? Are we going to look at someone to challenge Emerson? Or are they going to be back up to Emerson? You know, what is the situation that West Ham are looking to do? So bear with us as we obviously move forward with um, the, 
you know, the news about what actually physically happens with regards to a potential replacement for Aaron Creswell. It looks like he'll, he'll be heading out the door this summer. Another player that I think might be heading out the door this summer is Antonio. Now, Russ brought you the story earlier on today saying that it's reportedly saying that he is ready to leave West Ham at the summer. And he did turn 34 last month. And to be honest with you, I'm in the camp where I'm like, I don't know why we would be looking to get rid of Antonio. I would want him to finish his full-blown career at West Ham, if I'm being honest with you. And my reasoning behind that is that where West Ham become reliant on Antonio and Antonio only is where that becomes a problem. But I think many clubs would have a problem when you rely on one striker and one striker only. Especially a striker that wasn't a born and bred striker that's had to pivot and change in his career to become that striker. But what we can't deny is when Antonio does play, when he is supported, that he is sometimes unplayable and he does give oppositions so many problems. And I think someone like Antonio has a strong career still at West Ham where he stays as part of the squad and features nearly every game, but for 20 minutes in the game. That's how he should be utilised. That's where he'd cause a lot of problems. And I genuinely believe he gets very similar amount of goal tally from the bench playing 20 minutes when legs from other opposition players are, are, are down and they're tired. You put him one-on-one -on -one against many defenders and his strength alone bosses them out of the way and his pace alone at the age of 34. This guy, for me, has earned the right for a contract. He's still banging in goals and he's still being there doing that wearing a t-shirt. I don't think it's time to get rid of Antonio even at the age of 34. I think this experienced, this experienced player here is the one that we need to keep because we don't have strength and depth on our forward line. And if we do bring another striker in, it's about managing the expectations of Antonio's brain and, and his mindset and how he takes the news of potentially not being the number nine. But one thing Antonio can turn around and say is, Skamaka went, he didn't get a fair crack of the whip. Haller went, didn't get a fair crack of the whip. Chicharito went. And look who's still here. And look who's still scoring goals for West Ham. Antonio. And he's been part of the very successful West Ham team. So for me, keeping Antonio would be vital, but it looks like he is set to leave in the summer as he looks for ventures new coming to the end of his um, career with the club. And I genuinely would never, ever, ever have had him being at the stage of his career that he is with West Ham when he signed for us back from Nottingham Forest all those years ago. So when it comes to those two players in particular, it looks like they're probably both heading out the door. I would be mutual respect to Creswell and I'd be more disappointed with Antonio heading out the door. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Join us for the Hammers headlines later on and I'll be back very shortly. Take it easy. And of course, come on, you ants.